few days back, I went ahead and recorded a video of the OnePlus 3T on top of the DJI Osmo Mobile gimbal versus the GoPro 4 Black on the Feio G4. And the 3T was not stabilized on the DJI Osmo, so I went ahead and took another one. It looks much better, much more stable, even though I'm climbing stairs. It's an overcast day, so you get a little bit better of the um, a little bit better of the color pop. Even though it pops around a little bit, I'm walking, so <laughs> I'm not the smoothest walker. Clearly, as you can see, it's very windy and kind of overcast. So I didn't really add much to the color. I added a few effects, and this is the Corel Studio. X9 version. Occasionally I'll use um, Adobe Premiere Elements, but I've decided to use this today. Just do it quickly. It seems to be a little bit faster in the software department. And I like the look of the camera. I'm going to say the sensor is not the greatest. It doesn't really move as quickly as the iPhone 7 Plus. I've seen that, and that sensor picks up lightning fast but it is about 300 hours cheaper and that shot looks pretty good I added a little bit of a ripple effect on there just to add some some style to the video overall I'm very pleased with the OnePlus 3T for the price I don't know how they say it's not as good as a flagship because with the cost the coverage of your cell phone and data usage and the different features. It's lightning fast. It looks fantastic. It's got a uh, titanium body. I really do like the camera. Now it's in the HDR. It probably needs to be in HQ. I'll try that next time. So let me know what you think. Bye.